What's up, YouTube? I need some assistance. I need some help from somebody out there who has experience with delitting processor, specifically the 7900 series. Now, I am recording this from my phone. Sorry for the quality. I know it sucks, but right now my computer is unreliable. I'm going to try to make the long story short because this has been going on since my live stream this weekend, and I am I'm stumped. I have no idea why it's doing what it's doing, and I have no idea how to fix it. And I don't even know if it's possible to fix it, but I want some help from anybody out there who has experience. So let's start off with day number one. I de I in my processor. If you caught that live stream, thank you. Uh, I originally ended up going with the copper uh, IHS that I bought for a replacement uh, of the stock IHS. I also used liquid metal. Uh, this is from Thermal Grizzly. Used liquid metal, did a thin layer, went through everything that I thought I knew I was supposed to do, watched a bunch of tutorials, thought I did it right. I got it uh, all resealed up. I have a, a D-lid and a reseal kit. Um, I let it sit for hours, let the seal cure, and I thought everything was good. Put it into my computer, and the temperatures were amazing. I mean, I'm talking, I was idling in 28 Cs, and I was going, uh, my, my maximum temperature under load was like 73, 75, something like that. I don't know, it's been a while, but it was really, really low. Uh, actually, I think it might have been lower than 75. It might have been like 67. So everything looked amazing. But here's where it got tricky. After about 20 to 30 minutes and probably 15 to 20 minutes, uh, I spent you know running a burn-in test, probably 15 minutes, uh, my computer froze, just locked up. No blue screen of death, no nothing, just locked up and froze. I reboot my computer and my uh, temperatures were instantly running much hotter than what they were before. Um, so I ran the Prime 95 test and it like instantly shot up to 104 degrees. So I panicked, shut that off, turned everything off, and I thought, okay, I screwed something up, right? Maybe I used too much or too little, probably too much liquid metal. So I went back, I re-delitted the damn thing. I went back, I, you know, scraped off all the liquid metal, reapplied it. Actually, I scraped off some of the liquid metal. Uh, then I reapplied it, re, re uh, like, like, spread it out and everything, made it super nice and thin, except this time I used the stock IHS. I figured, hey, I don't know if this is manufactured correctly, maybe it's not level, whatever. I know the stock works with the old crappy thermal paste that came from Intel, so you know, maybe maybe it's a, a, an IHS thing. Either way, I tried the liquid metal again, I used the stock IHS, the same exact thing happened. I was getting 67-ish, 66-ish uh, max load temps. It ran amazing. This time it ran for longer. Uh, I think it actually ran for, I want to say, 30 to 45 minutes, maybe even a, a few minutes longer. And then the entire time I'm, I'm like, you know, looking at my temperatures, keeping an eye on them, keeping them on the, uh, a screen so I can take a look at them. And this time, again, it froze, nothing like no blue, no blue screen of death, no, no nothing else. I can't talk. No nothing else. Just froze. I looked at the temperatures, still running cool. In fact, at the time of that freeze, I think I was on Twitter, just typing something or just looking at Twitter, or doing something. Like no, no load, no whatsoever. So no reason for it to overheat at that time, and the temperatures were running cool. So it froze up. I rebooted. Ran the prime test immediately afterwards, and of course, boom, shot right up. This one only hit like 98 degrees or something like that. So it was lower than the first time, so maybe I did a better job with the liquid metal application, but it was still running super hot. And this is just like an instant thing. Like, it runs great, it locks up, and it runs like crap. Ugh. So here's what I did. I... <laughs> I re it yet again. This is the third time so far. And I went through and I, I cleaned everything, like all of the liquid metal off. I don't know why, I thought this would help, but I cleaned all the liquid metal off. I reapplied another thin layer of liquid metal. And instead of applying the sealant to it, because that takes a long time to cure and it makes this entire process super long, I used the same stock IHS and I used no sealant at all. So I dropped it into my CPU socket. I free floated it or whatever you want to call it. I lined up my IHS on top of it and I put the bracket holding it down. So I had no sealant whatsoever between the die and the IHS. And I know it made contact. I, I tested it for sure and I know it made, it made contact and everything was good. I locked it down. I put on the all-in-one, booted it up, and I actually got like better temperatures. I think I was running like in the 63s, 64s at max load. And I was super excited and it ran for like three or three and a half hours, something like that. And then again, it locked up and... Same is the same story. Locked up and went, you know, directly to like 98 degrees or something like that. So 
tonight, uh, I decided to reapproach this with basically a sign of defeat on my part and say, instead of using the liquid metal, maybe I'm just not doing this right, maybe whatever, I don't care. I went with thermal uh, paste instead of liquid metal. I figured, hey, the, the, the thermal paste that comes from Thermal Grizzly is gonna be way better than the Intel paste. So I used that, I de it again, which of course it wasn't sealed this time, so it was super easy. I cleaned everything off, I got it as, as you know shiny and clean as I possibly could using alcohol or whatever. Uh, got it super clean, reapplied a thin layer of you know thermal paste, definitely not too much. I mean, I know it wasn't too much. I, I applied the thermal paste, everything was covered, I put it in there, and it lasted for about an hour and a half. And then again, I had these great temps, it crashed, and it instantly went to high temps. And I have absolutely no idea why it's doing this, because this is with thermal paste now. And I forgot to tell you, when I first tried to do thermal paste again, I used the copper again. I went back to the copper. And the coverage seemed good. I mean, this obviously pulls up a little bit, like whenever you pull it off of the chip, it, it kind of like, you know, pulls it in some direction. But when I was looking at the chip, looking at this, coverage was solid. I had every single piece being touched. So I didn't have anything that was missing any kind of like contact or anything like that. So I have no idea why it would do that. So again, I went from the copper back to the stock IHS. I literally just put that thing back in there with the stock IHS. Uh, actually, no, <laughs> back up. So I, I went back to the IHS, reapplied the thermal paste, put it in there. It locked up in like 10 minutes. So I took it back out and here's what's crazy. I took it back out. I literally just took the CPU out of the socket, pulled it apart, looked at it, said, huh, it still looks like it has good coverage. There's nothing, there's no dry spots, nothing whatsoever. And there's enough pulling here that I can stick it back together, stuck it back in the socket, didn't do anything else, didn't even replace the uh, thermal paste off the all-in-one and the, the, the other side of the IHS. So I just stuck it, put it, right back in, put the all-in-one on there, screwed that back on, I got freaking thermal paste all over my shit, you know, I'm cleaning myself off, boot it back up, and what do you know? The temperatures are amazing. I have no idea what the frick is going on. It's right, it hasn't crashed yet, but I just did this, and now I'm asking people for help. Please help me understand what in the world is going, how is it, I can understand, I can't understand, but I can imagine with liquid metal, if some my thought process was it was settling to the bottom, right? I got on Reddit, someone was like, oh, you used too much, oh, you used too little. Well, I used a lot and I used a little, neither one of them did anything. So uh, I could imagine if it would like, you know, pull down at the bottom, maybe gravity would pull it down, you know, it would cause it to slowly creep and maybe create a dry spot, maybe it was too close or not close enough, you know, there's a lot of variables there. But now I'm using thermal paste and I'm running into the same issue, exactly the same issue that I had with liquid metal. And I have no idea why it will run fine for 20, 30 minutes, sometimes 15 minutes in the last one. And then it, it the temperatures and everything are good and then just locks up, I reboot and it immediately starts running hot. I don't know. Now I've looked at the, I've looked at the chip and like the die, every, all the little capacitors and shit around the die. And I can't see anything that's missing. Everything looks like it's still in place. I don't see anything that's knocked loose. Um, I don't want to touch them or anything to like try to wiggle them because I don't want to knock them loose, checking to see if they are loose. But as far as I can tell, no damage has actually been done. And I've, throughout this entire thing, I have been pretty like careful not to mess anything up, like not to touch any of the capacitors basically. So yeah, I'm asking anybody out there who has any experience with delitting, what in the world am I doing wrong? And how in the world can I get this to just run? I just want it to run. I don't need it to be like a liquid metal level of like, you know, <laughs> a temperature decrease. I just want it like a, a decent level of temperature. I just want it to freaking run without overheating. And I don't know why it's doing it. But if anyone has any input, please post them down below. I would definitely appreciate it. And that is nine minutes and 27 seconds of me begging for help. It's kind of funny. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll try to do my best to respond to comments, but, uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm literally baffled. I've done this five or six times now and I'm, I'm like losing count. So it doesn't make sense. Here, here's my thoughts, right? I would think that if I put on the thermal paste or the liquid metal wrong, and you know, when I was putting things on or setting things in or, or whatever I was doing, if it created a dry spot or it created a spot 
that was like you know over clumped or, or had too much stuff in it I would think that 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 mis level of material whether it's liquid metal or, or thermal paste it would instantly create that issue that variance of temperature right I would I would constantly have some cores running cooler or hotter than others and it would be there from the start rather than that though instead well instead of doing that all of them run amazing. They all have amazing temperatures. Idle temperatures, 27, 28 degrees. You know, full throttle loads, you know, 64 to 67 degrees. Um, when I went, when I switched to thermal paste, that went up to 75 degrees. But still, 75 is way better than what I had before. So I was still happy with 75. But they would all not max out past 75 degrees. This is after like 30 minutes, 35 minutes of running Prime 95. So what in the freaking world is going on to make it run perfectly fine, all the temperature's great, everything looks clean and amazing for temperature-wise, it locks up, reboot, runs like crap. What the hell is that all about? If anyone has any idea, please post them down below because I'm recording this on my phone because I can't even use my damn computer right now. I really need to get this fixed. Thanks.